When looking at the official flags of African nations, there seems to be a common trend, and this is not a coincidence. Many African countries use the elements of the Pan-African flag, which has two different color sets. The first set is green, gold, and red, and the other set is red, black, and green. The first color set mentioned is influenced by the Ethiopian flag. Ethiopia, also known as Abyssinia, was one of three African nations to survive the scramble for Africa. A year after defeating the Italians in the First Italo-Ethiopian War, Abyssinia's emperor, Menelik II, ordered this color scheme to be used in their flag. Each of these colors have their own specific meaning. Green represents the richness and the fertility of our land as well as hope. The gold represents religious freedom and peace. And the red represents the sacrifice of our fathers who spilled their blood in defense of Ethiopia. As decades passed, many newly independent countries began to use these colors out of admiration for Ethiopia. The first being Ghana in 1957, followed by many other countries. The second color set that contained the colors red, black, and green were not a creation made by Africans, but rather by African Americans in the United States. This flag was created by the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League, but we will just call them UNIA to make things easier. The UNIA created this flag in response to the popular coon song, Every Race Has a Flag But the Coon, and yes, coon music is a genre and that was a real song. Much like the other color set, each of the colors have their own specific meaning. Red represents the blood that unites all the people of black ancestry and the shed for liberation. And black represents black people whose existence as a nation, though not a nation state, is affirmed by the existence of the flag. And green represents the abundant natural wealth of Africa. This color set has also appeared to be the theme of many African nations flags, along with some Caribbean nation flags. In some cases, these color sets become blended together like the Jamaican and the South African flag. The Pan-African flag is just one instance where countries have influenced each other's flags and even culture. This can also be seen through the Pan-Slavic flag, the Pan-Arabic flag, and the Nordic cross. A country's flag could be quite telling of its history and cultural values. That is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I hope to see you all in the next chapter.